ultimately, Adam Smith is about free market. And if you uh, look at how you are successful in developing the economy, how you are successful in developing a business, uh, obviously, free market is the system which allows you to do that. And without it, uh, it becomes very difficult. But at the same time, there are certain failures in the marketplace which would prevent the invisible hand to work. And you will have to address those failures. For example, if there's misalignment of interests between the shareholders and the management, then things don't work. And what we do in private equity is to try to align the interests and the incentives of shareholders and the management and the employees so that we work together to create and maximize value of the same business that uh, we all have an interest in. And that's critically important. Too often you see in the marketplace that alignment of interest is broken down, such as with some public market firms. When your management looks at short-term uh, compensation, whereas shareholders know that uh, if you make you know, investment today, you will get better reward uh, in the future. So I think in private equity, we try to address that issue by aligning the interests of uh, shareholders and, and other stakeholders, uh, which I think is very important. And that's part of being a player of a free market. But you have to be conscious of the fact that uh, there are certain failures in the market you will have to address. Now, I think this conference that we're holding here is critically important. Uh, it's, uh, you know, we are dealing with uh, a change in the environment where market itself is under attack, where globalization is under attack, the global trade system is under attack, and so we have to look at you know, the issues which led us to this particular point. We have to re-emphasize the importance of the principles of the market, and I think this is what this conference is all about. Thank you.